let abc be subsets of universal set s and symmetric difference of two sets a and b that is a delta b equal to c prove that b intersection c union a equal to b so we have a delta b equal to c now from the definition of symmetric difference we know this will be a minus b union b minus a equal to c now to prove these two sets are equal we have first we show the intersection c union a is subset of b and this is obvious to show this let x belongs to b intersection c union a we know intersection of two sets is always intersection of two sets a and b is always subset of a and subset of b by definition of intersection because a intersection b contains all those elements which belongs to both a and b now so x belongs to a intersection b always implies x belongs to a and x belongs to a intersection b always implies x belongs to b now let x belongs to b intersection c union and this implies x belongs to b and x belongs to c union a therefore x belongs to b intersection c union a subset of x belongs to sorry implies implies x belongs to b therefore x belongs to b intersection c union a implies x belongs to b therefore b intersection c union a is subset of b because x is arbitrary b arbitrary now to show b subset of b intersection c union a let now let y belongs to b b arbitrary now we have two option either y belongs to c union a or not if case one if y belongs to c union a then it is obvious that y belongs to b intersection c union a because we start with y belongs to b and if y belongs to c union a then y belongs to b and y belongs to c union a therefore y belongs to b intersection c union a now therefore we start with y belongs to b and we get y belongs to b intersection c union a therefore b subset of b intersection c union a we name it one and we name it two now case two if y does not belongs to c union a then this implies y does not belongs to c and y does not belongs to a because suppose this is a this is c if y does not belongs to union of two sets a and c then obviously y does not belongs to c and y does not belongs to a because if y belongs to c then y belongs to c union a and also if y belongs to a then y also belongs to c union a so y if y does not belongs to c union a then y does not belongs to c and y does not belongs to a by definition of union now since y does not belongs to c therefore y does not belongs to c equal to a minus b union b minus a therefore y does not belongs to a minus b union b minus a now by same logic we can say that y does not belongs to a minus b and y does not belongs to b minus a hence y does not belongs to a minus b and y does not belongs to b minus a now we start with y belongs to b that is we assumed that y belongs to b since we have assumed y belongs to b 
therefore now see this is a this is b this is a minus b and this is b minus a this is a intersection b this is b minus a this is a minus b and this is a intersection b so now since y does not belongs to a minus b y does not belongs to this and y does not belongs to this but we assume that y belongs to b so obviously y belongs to this that is y must belongs to a intersection b therefore y must belong to a intersection b because y does not belongs to this and also y does not belongs to b minus a but we assumed y belongs to b so obviously y must belong to a intersection b hence but now y belongs to a intersection b therefore y belongs to a and y belongs to b but here we get y does not belongs to a so this contradicts the fact that y does not belongs to a because this shows that y belongs to a but we have y does not belongs to a so this contradicts the fact that y does not belongs to a hence our assumption is false therefore this is false therefore y belongs to c union a y belongs to c union a now if y belongs to c union a we have already proved b subset of b intersection c union a therefore from 1 and 2 we find that b equal to b intersection c union a therefore from 1 and 2 we find that b equal to b intersection c union a proved if you like this video please share subscribe and comment